Hi, you're welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Nera to USDT and you can use it for whatever transaction you want to use it for. I will be using BitGet Exchange as the case study here. So when you launch your app, go to the home page and then scroll over here and you're going to see different section of the app. So locate where you have P to P over here. So you click on it. So you have the buy session and then the sell session. So since we want to convert an error to USDT, so that means we want to buy. So over here, you'll be able to see the amounts that um, one USDT cost. So over here, you can see one USDT is about uh, 1,610 Nera nine cobble so depending on the amount that you want to buy okay so for me instead of me scrolling all through what i usually do is i come to where i have this limit so you click on where you have the limit and then type the amount that you want to buy so for me i want to buy fifty thousand a watt of usdt so fifty thousand a watt of usdt so i've put in the fifty thousand so what this would do is that it will only limit the ads that i see you know, it's going to be within the range of, you know, 50,000. So you click on confirm. So if you see now, this order has been limited to um, 50,000 error and above. Okay. So this makes it easier for you to um, complete your transaction as fast as possible. So I can go with any of them. Okay. This first person has completed 1,697. And... It has 99% rate success. Okay, so I can just go with this person. I can go with this person. So you click on buy. Then here, you're putting the amount that you want to buy. So I'm buying 50,000 error watt. Okay, so you can see the amount of USDC I'm going to be getting. That is about 31, 31 USDC, okay. So next is for you to click on buy USDT. So over here, you just go to your bank app and copy the, the bank name and all of that. So just click on next. Okay, so this person left a note for us. He said, waiting, waiting, waiting. Please, I didn't. Please, I didn't narrate any crypto words or P2P. So he just be telling you um, the things you need to take note of. Okay, so that when you are sending the money to him, don't put in your narration anything about crypto or P2P, anything. Don't do not do that. So that is what um, this person is giving you, um, the notes for you to take. So just read through it. Each of the vendor has um, different um, notes that he puts in. So just read it. So for me, I'm going to go ahead so I can get the account details. So you can see the account, detail, the account details of the person. Okay, so I'm going to copy the account details now. And then I'll be going to my to my bank app to do the transaction. So I will end this video now and then continue once I'm done with the payment. All right, so I have completed the payment now. Okay, I'll send the money to the person. So next is for me to click on paid. Now I need you to note one thing, okay? There are some vendors that want to act smart. So make sure you keep your receipts. Should in case they start asking for me, you know, you can appeal. So next is for me to just click on paid to notify the person that I've paid the money. So I'm going to click on paid now. So it's going to ask me that, have I transferred this money? Yes, I have transferred it. So then I'll click on confirm. All right, so um, it's going to take within five to 10 minutes, the person should be able to, should be able to release my USDT. If you come over here, you can see file and appeal. After 10 minutes that the person did not re release your USDT can actually appeal, okay, so that um, the customer service can look into it and then force the person to release the USDT. So for now, I am waiting for the person to release my USDT. So the vendor has released the USDT. So if you look over here, the seller has released the coin. So the seller has released the coin, so I can go ahead to, you know, use the USDT for whatever reason I want to use it for. So that is how to convert your Nera to USDT. I hope this video was, was helpful. Please don't forget to like this video so that 
just so you recommend this video to more people and don't forget to comment if you find this video helpful and if this is your first time of coming across my channel please do well to subscribe see you in my next video